Ouch. <laughs> I didn't clap properly, ne, guys. Ay, 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 ay. I losing my power, man. I losing my power, man. And clap to the masses. Oh, tell Naji, don't know say it's about Mr. Licks. And we are back again for another reaction here on this year. Mr. Licks reacts. For those of you who don't know this, is where I tend to react to a number of videos taking place where in Dominican the Caribbean and the rest of the world by extension. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the last reaction. Definitely go and check it out if you have not done so. Of course, that will be at the end of the video if you haven't seen it. But we are here for another Vibrations right there. But before I get into the whole Vibrations, guys, I must make mention of this very situation right there. And of course, I actually did a video of Mr. Henry Schilling for the lawyer, attorney at law, of course, in Dominica on the basis of the whole situation involving the 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 the, the rona getting the rona injections brothers and sisters i can think i think i can say it right now well i'm on a different channel but it seems like they're respecting brbp tv tv um, um channel so they don't really go after it because he started saying a lot of the the rona stuff <laughs> and it's still up so i thought that they would have taken it down however i know they're gonna be limiting they will be limiting that video that's something i noticed on youtube YouTube tends to want to limit a lot of the videos, especially when it doesn't go again. Um, it doesn't go for the narrative that they're trying to push forward um, to society. So if something is against what they're saying, they try to limit it to the best of their knowledge. However, guys, go on BRBP TV. That link will be in the description below. Definitely, guys, go there and also click the thumbs up button. So, of course, the algorithm will see that and push it further, bypassing that of which they are trying to push. So, guys, definitely go out there. And definitely check that link in the description below after this year reaction. Of course, this video is totally about um, people who are uh, uh, or are being forced. I think uh, Pinsky is one of the um, places where they're trying to force individuals to take these things inside their bodies. This experimental stuff. And, you know, if it's experimental and you don't know how it's going to affect you, especially when it comes down to the midterm effects, 5 to 10 years or 20, 25, the long term after... Uh, of course, dealing with um, uh, generations to come. You don't know how this thing is going to affect you since there's a, a short amount of time. Why then should you take something into your body? I think there was an argument made by, I think, Senator Ron Paul of the United States. He stated that you can actually take out masks on your face, but you cannot take out what is actually inside your body. So if you inject something that is then going into your cells and then reproduction make you become a factory for the very situation that you're trying to fight, then that is something that you should be mindful of to not go in your body. I mean, everybody have the choice to take it or not. But of course, this lawyer, Mr. Henry Schlinford, um, is planning to take legal action against the mandatory vaccine uh, for Dominican employees when it comes down to these kind of situations. Of course, I think he was hired by um, some individual wellness, health and wellness of Dominica um, in terms of, you know, making sure that if you are, uh, have to take it, make somebody liable. Because you understand that this tests, um, set of companies they want to make you take things, but they don't want to have nobody re I'm, 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 I'm reliable for these things. So if you fall sick or a number of persons pass away or something like that, nobody is responsible. And then they tell you that you need to do this for you to maintain your job. But if you take this and it does some effects on you, then you are totally responsible for your own doing. Which doesn't make sense at all, brothers and sisters. This is something I'm, 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 I'm finding that it's kind of stupefying to say the least. Because you're taking something that can affect you and has affected a number hundreds of thousands of individuals out there. It has affected them in different ways. Of course, different people respond to different things different ways. This is why I don't understand how you can give somebody one thing and expect that one thing to cure everybody or not cure. It doesn't cure. It doesn't prevent you from anything. It just pretty much prevents you from hospitalization. That is what they say. But if you're not taking anything... And you're using your mask and you're protecting yourself. What you don't need to be hospitalized. You don't need to be hospitalized anyway. Which is, I, I don't understand the the, the the logic behind this whole thing. But brothers and sisters, um, definitely check out a link in the video description below or in the description, um, the first comment in the comment box below, guys. That's why I tend to post um videos that you want to see. A number of persons tend to watch this video on the television. I know some of you guys have been saying, how do you get to these guys if you, mainly when I'm talking is for people who actually use computers and phones. But if you are on the TV, definitely type in your phone, man. Type it into your phone and, and, you know, do some research. Type this thing. This is why I make sure I screenshot this very thing for you to actually just type in on YouTube and you'll get to see that right there. So with all that said, guys, this is not why we're here today. It's rather interesting. I thought I was going to stay like 30 seconds on this whole thing, but I guess I get carried away sometimes. <laughs> Your boy like to talk sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is the matter that we are going to be talking about here today. Of course, this was uh, this took place in Portsmouth 
and I told individuals that I was actually going to be reacting to that very thing right there concerning that this is something that has happened in the past and I will show you actually have the video of what happened in the past right there in this same situation but there's some similarities in this thing I want you guys to see it right there i'm not gonna show the the, the crazy parts you know guys you, youtube is a special kind of place man <laughs> so you have to be mindful of what you show however we see this young man right there he wants to cross the road let me take that out there before you start putting thing on me <laughs> all right so this young man wants to cross the road so it looks like he watched this way but apparently was behind this bus he watched this way he ran he was still looking this way because when one of my family members told me he was not watching, I tell him, yes, he was watching. And therefore, you can definitely see he was watching. But it seems like his vision was obscured by this bus. And then he turned his head to look, you know, look up and down. Look up and down. And then all of a sudden, it came to this situation right there. For those of you who don't know... He got hit by a vehicle. Let me see if I can. Okay. He got hit by a vehicle. Okay, we all right. <laughs> I can't go too much. He got be hit by a vehicle, guys, and he ended up on the floor. He ended up on the floor over there. Yep. He is not dead or anything, by the way, guys. He is alive and well. This was actually a Haitian kid. Um, let me take that out there. <laughs> YouTube is a funny thing. You know. This was a Haitian kid, and um, he ended up in the predicament. I guess this is somebody that probably knows him, and that is the person's reaction. They were totally shocked as to what they saw. The owner of the vehicle came out, and I guess later on they took him to the hospital and everything. He's okay. Thank God for that. But I think there's something we can we can learn in, in this instance right there. It's not only telling people to look up and down, but telling people, little children, to stop. Make sure it's absolutely clear. You look up and down, but make sure you stop. Take your time. Also tell children, do not run across the road. I guess he was trying to run across to make sure he get across fast, just in case another vehicle was coming. But it's important that we tell children, do not run across the road. Thank God he's okay. Um, he was taken to the hospital. Um, there's no reports of any internal bleeding or anything like that. Anything like that. But God was definitely watching over this brother right there. Not only that, though, guys, but this very same situation happened last year around the same time. And I want you guys to notice that he has this uniform. I think this is government school uniform, aka RDPS, Roosevelt Douglas Primary School uniform. And this very same situation happened exactly around the same time brothers and sisters this one deals with a girl no uh, let me zoom in on this thing for you guys to see so this they have cameras all kind of places man i think this is the area around mariba i could i could be wrong um but this is this is the incident right there this one took place last year as you can see last year i don't know if this date is is correct but i was still around the very same time right there in 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 this regard but this was last year um i'm right there. anyways let's continue so you see this little girl she's running across the road brothers and sisters she's running across i don't think she looked the the other way no she don't look the other way at all but she running across the road let me make sure this thing gets bigger for you guys some of all you you know all your eyesight not too bright <laughs> all your eyes are not too bright i can't be straight you probably squinting your eyes like no brothers and sisters <laughs> anyways yeah, so I have to move it slowly and then you see the bus coming. Right there, guys. See the bus coming. This is where we stop it. Anyways, the girl got up. She was okay. But she, basically, she got up, guys. It wasn't much of a thing, but this incident happened again today. She's okay. No complaints. God watching over <laughs> God really watching over the little children, you know, guys. God watching over the little youths, man. And thank God she got, she uh, wasn't injured. But there was a petition and I actually had to come and do a video before they had to put speed bump in that area. I think they put some speed bump further up. Um, this was last year. But apparently the same situation happened again last week. You know, with this guy. Let me say quick. 
<laughs> I hope the algorithm no pick up them things. Yeah, that the algorithms don't break it troublesome already. Anyways, this one happened last week, and then this one. I saw it on time. Eh? This one happened last year, so it's important for us to, you know, I guess they need to have more, especially around this area where there's a shop or something. They need to draw yellow lines on the road, something that can probably help, you know. Draw yellow lines across the road to to let vehicles and um, people know that they should slow down within this vicinity or put another speed bump in front of this particular area, especially when there's intersections where you have to come into inside there. Maybe they should put some you know speed. I don't know. Um, putting speed bumps in the, in the right areas, another speed bump I guess we'll have to do in this regard to protect the children. But I guess around that time they mean oh another thing they probably need to have signs up stating be mindful of children or slow down. Or all these kind of things. I think this is where uh, um, signs and speed signs need to come in so that people can, can think. But then again, these this individuals were not driving any crazy, so to speak. Um, it just so happened that these kids were running across the road and stuff. Um, but, but, but really and truly, what can be done in this situation? Man? What can be done in this situation right there? Let me, let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Um, there's another thing I wanted to show, but I'll just forget about that one. Um, kid, I'm, I'm going to keep this one brief uh 11 okay yes anyways guys if you guys you know thank god give a thumbs up for the youths who definitely made it out alive it could have been much worse but um thank god everything is okay um the angels were watching the youths man the angels were out there watching the youths ah may we be protected like the little youths out there sometimes you know some some children are not are not fortunate but this one this girl is very, definitely fortunate as well as the boy who's also fortunate for making it out alive right there he had to be taken to the hospital um but um there was no reports of you know um, um injuries or anything like that of course he was dazed for a little bit but he, he's he's fine he's fine thank god for that um if there's any other reports um i'll let you guys know but that is what i've i've, I've gotten uh in this regard thank god give a thumbs up for these suits um i'm making it out i know mama i don't know if you guys is more about Mother said that lady was shocked, man. She was shocked. She didn't know what to do. She didn't know what to do. But um, at least God knew what to do. All right, brothers and sisters, and amen. Type an amen in the comment box if you guys read this far in this video. Type an amen in the comment box below. Um, below, if you know when people don't know what to do, but God knows what to do. And give this video a thumbs up as well, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Don't forget to check out the BRBP TV video of the lawyers for those of you who want to know the whole vibes of what can be done. So you wouldn't need to take the, 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 the thing or there's some sort of protection for you in this regard. Um, of course, check out that video in the description or the first comment in the comment box below. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction video.